going to be showing you guys how to install a universal powered antenna for your car. The reason why I'm changing my antenna is because the one that came with my car doesn't work very good anymore. I barely get any stations. And when I bought this car, somebody had tried to cut it up and fix it, so I'm not even going to bother with that. The one that I bought, it's a cheaper one, but it works a lot better than the one that came with the car. And I've been using it for now, that's why it's not in a box. I've been using it unpowered, just like that. It works pretty decently, but I still get some signals that are cut out. And there's still a couple channels that don't work with it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to power it, and I'm going to sneak all the wires behind because I had all the wires just hanging out like in the middle of everywhere right now so you got your powered antenna it's got a little LED it'll light up when it's got power I've tried it already attached to that depending on which one you got you have the ground most of the time for an antenna like this the ground will have the uh, the, the clip like that the little connector and then the positive is just coming out of the plug like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some speaker wire, because speaker wire will work fine. I'm going to connect it to the power. I'm going to connect some wire to the positive and the negative. I'm going to cut off that clip. I'm going to put some uh, speaker wire on that. I'm going to ground that to the ground of the radio, as well with the power for the antenna to the power of the radio. <coughs> That way the, the antenna kicks on with the power of the radio so it's not a constant supply of power. So you want to pull out your radio, you want to unplug your original antenna which I already showed you. This one here normally it's plugged in right here. You want to unplug that, stuff it in the back somewhere. Now normally most people that have these antennas, they hang them up here underneath your mirror. I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like stuffing the wire through the roof. So instead what I did is I took my vents out. I'm going to put the antenna right here. I'm just going to stick it down. I'm going to run the wires inside the vent so you're not going to see it. And then I'll pass it through. I'll bring it through here and down to the radio. So I'm going to start tucking the wires in and then I'll get back to you when I'm done that. Alright. I got the antenna sitting up there. I have the wires running through. This is the ground, already cut and ready to go. Here's a signal wire with the positive coming out. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the wire down into where the radio goes. Are you going to see it? I don't know. But right here, that's what I wanted to do. Pull it out from there. Yeah. Now I gotta remember that's the ground. Now this one, this one's really freaking long, so it's gonna be kind of a pain. I don't know where I'm gonna put the rest of it, but I'm gonna pass that one down in there too. And I'm going to grab it from in here and pull it through. Now I'm not going to pull it very far through just because there's so much wire I could easily take it and just stuff it in there, which I'm going to do at the end. So now this plugs into here and what I got to do is I got to wire the ground and wire the positive to my radio's power. I'm going to get that done and then I'm going to come back. Alright, so I got everything wired up now. I got my ground connected to the ground of my radio. I got my positive connected to the positive switch of the radio. This is not a constant, this wire. This wire is a switch to turn the radio on and off. And it supplies power. So that way the antenna will turn on when the radio turns on and doesn't stay on all the time. If you look at the antenna, the red light is on now. It's got, it's got the power. Now I'm going to try and plug it in. Alright, so... Now, hopefully... This is a radio station, by the way, that didn't work very good before. I almost couldn't get it whatsoever. 
Now it's working. Swallow coming up, Rian. They all work. Now one that I never ever get with almost every car is this one here. Yeah, you see, so it's still don't get this one. Well, it's okay, I don't listen to it anyway. Now, as for the wires here, this one is just the right length, fits nice. And for the extra wire here, I'm pretty much just going to grab it and stuff it down inside the hole with the radio. Make sure it's out of the way of the vents, it's not pulling too much. Give it as much slack as I can. Just like that. There we go. Now, I got enough room to hook it up. And my vent should fit back in its place. I got everything back in now. I have it stuck down with the tape. I'll have to put everything else back together. The radio. Just got to make sure that my plugs and wires are all okay in there. I should be able to push this right back in there. There we go. Radio's back. Now, this back in here isn't the easiest thing to get back in. You have to watch out for these clips here. Doing it with one hand isn't the easiest, just because everything's got a clip back in its place. You see up here, it's not perfect, but I got screws for that. So I'm gonna put the camera back down, put those screws in, and that'll be it. And that was how to install a universal antenna on almost any car. Most modern cars aren't as easy to pull the radio out. I literally just grab it each side and just pull it. But generally it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. You just want to tap into the positive and the negative and run the wires to wherever your heart desires. Anyway, it's uh, this is Tyler. I'm going to end the video here. So subscribe, like, comment. I'm uh, hopefully going to be making some more videos in the future when I got time. By the way, that's my second car. It's a 2000 Subaru Legacy. And this one's 94, 93 Civic. So, yeah, more videos to come in the future. One of my buddies is going to come too. He's got a Subaru Impreza 2005. Going to be doing some energy bushings on that. Going to be doing energy bushings on my Civic. So, stay tuned for that. Have a good day. Forty-four. I've been jumping long time.